I was still living in Buffalo and a friend of mine saw a class that was being taught about beekeeping at the Natural History Museum in Buffalo, New York. And so uh, we signed up and took it. And when I started learning about bees, it was just so fascinating. Once I started going into hives, I was hooked. I'm a chiropractic physician. I have a solo practice in downtown Salt Lake City. I love <clears throat> working with people. I love working with the natural energy of the body. Uh, I also am quite interested in shamanic work and there's an entire shamanic practice that centers around bees and beekeeping. Uh, and there's a great book, I can't think of the name of it right now, but a great book that's been written about it. And I, when I read that book, I mean, literally, I would sit there sometimes and just let out a hoot. It's like, whoa, this is so cool. Meditation for me is a, an ancient practice uh, that's been around probably as long as people have been. Uh, and it, it embodies my world view. I've had a fascination with the natural world forever. I had bees in the late 70s, and then I didn't get bees again until about six years ago. And the thing that kept me away during that time was partly I was a gypsy for so many years, didn't have a home, so you got to have a place to keep bees, and you got to stay put. And that was a big part of my life. Most of the beekeepers that I've crossed paths with tend to be a bit eccentric. Uh, interested in life outside the status quo. Um, they, the bees themselves fascinate them, but you talk to most beekeepers and their lives are fascinating. These days the bees aren't as vital and as hardy as they used to be. And there's lots of theories in terms of what's happening to create that. Um, but yeah, it's always sad when they disappear because uh, the bees will come out in the winter. When you have a warm day, you know, there will be snow on the ground and you can see them out flying. And so when I'm in the house and I see that or I come out in the winter and check, it's really cool. And when the hive dies, it's, it's always sad. It's just like my friends are gone. Keeping bees is, is just part of the collective effort to have more bees in the world.